Right, Sharon, spring is in the air, and we're going to be giving one of these away at the end of the video, people. So um, get down, Merlin. Merlin's going to have a little bit of the older uh, de shedding first of all, Sharon. So I'll let you do that first. And this is the de shedding tool at the end there, isn't it? A lot of you compliment and uh, Merlin's coat and what a lovely glossy coat he's got. Well, he's getting rid of his winter coat now, as you can say, and normally the uh, hair goes all over the house. But um, you can see it there pulling it out, look. Look at that, look. And he's not bothered by the noise? No, nope. he's not bothered at all, is he? No. And when it collects at the end of the brush there, if you can see, look, you just press the button and it sucks it straight in into the chamber over here, which if I show you over here, there's the chamber there, and that's what she's done already, look. And it leaves his coat so soft. Yeah, it does. Although he's looking for shadows at the moment, Sharon, as you can see. This is a place where they normally get a lot of hair, don't they? Uh, it's my shadows, yeah. Merlin, go and sit down. I better sit still, because what he's watching is the shadow of the camera on the floor, look. Yeah, we've actually done a review video on this um, alternate P30 combo. This is the brand new one which we're going to be giving away to one of you in the chat box tonight. So do stay and hang around until the end of the video. And uh, if you're in the chat box, you'll be able to win one. Well, win this one, this actual one. As you can see, it's still sealed up. We've not even opened it yet. So I'd like to thank Altenic first of all for sending that to us to give to one of our subscribers. So thank you very much indeed. So you've been going about a couple of minutes there. And what have you got so Perfect. far? Let's have a look. You have got a filter in there as well. Yeah, look at that already, look. That's just in that short time. And I just always have a bag ready. Yeah. Just to count it into a bag. Yeah. But uh, a lot of people say that, that the birds like that, don't they? Yeah. To um, have in the garden, which we do put that in the garden, don't I, we? Oh, I've chucked many a bit of fur out in the garden yeah. for them. But this is a godsend. Yeah. As you can see, normally when she does the dogs normally with the normal who, uh, vacuum cleaner, you normally, and when she's definitely with Dougal, when she has to cut the hair, it's forever in the carpet, you know. I'm, I'm usually covered in air, but I'm not. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to carry on doing Merlin, and then we'll come back to you, and we'll show you Dougal, because he needs a lot of hair cut off. So we'll show you the other attachment, which actually shaves him as well. So we'll see you in a minute. Right, so you've got... What's this, gal? <laughs> so we're going to go around Dougal now, folks. We're going to probably speed you up a little bit, because... Mm. Um, it's going to take quite a while to get through Dougal. He's got really so thick. So thick and matty, so we're just going to work our way through now. <laughs> yeah, that already is a new container, folks. Look. <laughs> and his fur is really thick, Sharon, isn't it? him looking for shadows look on the floor look that comes his paw look there you go look already you can see how nice and short that's got that look compared to this which we've uh, just shaved off of his chest area there, look. Isn't that nice, Dougal? You good boy. Yeah. All right, okay, there you go, Sharon. That's the first one. Yeah. Look at that. Absolutely massive bundle of fur. We have to do this every now and again, obviously, because um, he's, uh, he's, so, he's so thick, thick on this, show. Yeah. So off we go again for round two. But just hold him up, Sharon. Let's have a little look already. You can see already, folks, that Under round the there, next all that, all that there, yeah, sure. compared to what this was like here, look. And that's just that little that's bit there. All, that's all his fur there from yeah, there. Yeah, amazing. Right, we'll let you carry on there. We'll see you in a minute. Right, we've just had a little go of his front leg, folks. I just wanted to show you the difference between the fur on this leg compared to the fur on that leg now. Look, that looks normal now, and that's his winter fur. Look at the size of that, uh, the width of that paw there. Look, that's thick, matted hair, Sharon, compared to... No, I don't mean matted, I mean the thick, just thick hair. hair. Merlin, go away. Come on, over there. Out of the way, Merlin. Over there. Always in the way, Fixer. You don't want 
he thinks think something's happening like, to him. Like, look. Yeah, he thinks something's happening to him, doesn't he? Yeah, but I can't believe the difference in size of that show. Look, that there, okay. compared to that one there, folks. Look. Anyway, we're going to carry on now. It's going to take a while, and uh, Merlin's obviously supervising. Over there. So we'll see you in a minute. When he's all done, Max. It's not a minute for me. There you go. How's that? <laughs> he looks handsome. He looks handsome. hell of a lot better now, folks, as you can see. And we actually got a big bag of... Um, let's get Merlin out of the way, look. There we go. Look at that, look. All that hair there, look. That's a whole bag full there. How's that Dougal? Look, he's looking all young again, look. Is that good? Yeah, look, all nice and short, folks. Does take a while, but as I say, he's got a very thick coat on him, hasn't he? Very, very thick coat, he has actually... On the floor, as you can see, no mess whatsoever. That's the last one we've done now, look, and it all comes out in one go. Look at that, look, how superb is that? And don't forget, this thing also is a dryer and a blower as well, Sharon. Yeah. A hair dryer and a blower, yeah. as well as a vacuum and sucker upper. So uh, we're going to give you a chance to win that now. Right, so what we want you to do is to think of a number between 1 and 150. Okay? Now, at the end of this video, we're going to shout out the number... And whoever we see in the comment section first with the matching number will win that Altenic P30 comp. So that's the first way we can think of doing that because only the people in the chat will get the chance to win that. So a number between 100 and 150, folks. Just put it down in the chat section now, in the chat box, not in the comment section below because that won't count. It's got to be in the live chat, which is there. Put down a number between 100 and 150 and at the end of this video we will be calling out the winning number and there's no way we know this because we're recording this three or four days beforehand and you're in the chat live now putting your numbers in so when we call the number out at the end it's already been said that number and all you people in the chat depends who gets there first to put that number in and it will only be the first person so there you go in folks our live chat it Shows different on other people's, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's as we yeah. see it in our live chat. So we'll go down and find the winning number, the first one, and that will be the winner. And we'll put that person's name in the top of the comment section, in the main comments. And we'll also pin it at the top of the chat as well, so that you can see who the winner is from the live chat. Right, okay, let's find something else to do. We've got loads to do, shall but I don't you, know what we're going to do. Please, I'm sorry to say, people. Yeah, UK, UK, UK mainland, because obviously we've got to ship that and uh, it costs a hell of a lot of money if it had to go abroad. Right, OK, now we're out for a walk. It's evening time now. It's 20 to 7 in the evening. It's been a lovely day today. This is what spring should be like. The daffodils are all out. There's a slight wind. The sun's there. We've got Dougal. He's had his hair cut, as you know. Dougal absolutely loves the walk, as you can see there. And he looks so much better now, Sharon, doesn't he? He does. He looks With lovely. his hair cut. But you do go. Yeah, because it's a walk locally, we can't actually take Merlin because um, he goes potty when he sees another dog. So um, we have to go to isolated places with Merlin. Oh, what a lovely day. Absolutely lovely. So we'll take you on this little walk with us, folks. Don't know where we're going to end up. But I uh, just wanted to do a little bit of exercise. I spent a lot of time on the computer today. And... Uh, Getting out and about sometimes is very nice, especially in the evening. There's a different atmosphere at night. And how clean the roads look, look. So nice when the, there's not a lot of traffic on the roads. Isn't it, Sharon? Lovely. Lovely and peaceful, eh? Yeah. Nice. Now, I'm going to address this uh, situation because a lot of you have been asking about Lee Van Camp in the videos. Um, I mean, he's not, not appearing. Well, I've retained what you call a, a dignified silence. In other words, I wasn't going to say anything because there is an issue. We had words, and this was probably mid-January, something like that. And we, the beginning of January. Was it the beginning of Jan? And as a result of that, we haven't spoken. Now, this has happened before, and... One time it was two years, and then we started talking again, and this time I personally don't think it's going to be resolved, because certain things have been said in a certain manner, and 
you can't go reliving old mistakes over and over again and as a result of that in my eyes I think we parted company now I had to bring this up because they've been pestering me people which I understand he did play a, quite a big part in our videos and I got him started on his own YouTube channel and his own journey and he appeared in quite a few of my videos we had a good repertoire good banter and all that and um, so obviously people would like to know what's been happening so as I said I've re retained refrained answering until he made the first move so to speak because it's not my part I didn't instigate it so he's now made the first move by people in his videos and he got a bit fed up with it because he kept doing the same as me not saying anything but obviously it's got to him and then he started saying what the problem is he's not said what the problem is I won't say what the problem is but all I'll say is I don't think it's going to get resolved and what's a, what's happened as a part of that is that there's an element of trolls on the internet which have also jumped onto the situation and they've gone into his chat as well now when we've had trolls before and I've deleted them from my channel they go over to Lee's channel and start commenting on there and slagging me and Sharon off and the family on his channel what he was doing before was deleting it to protect us and also not to have trolls on negativity on the East channel but what's happened now is that they've attacked him saying you're not being fair to your subscribers and now as a result of that he's come out now and said that yes we've had a disagreement or whatever and then they started trolling us on his channel now that's not very nice because I have to read that not only I read it we've got family we've got grandkids we've got uh, other members of the family and Hello. I would have expected Lee if he's watching this to have deleted that because we have spoke about trolls before and what's happened is there are trolls on a different website who absolutely slaughter me and Sharon and not only that my family as well now I haven't commented on them I don't go on that website but I have seen it so if you are watching this you trolls and I know you do because I've read all your comments and you've been watching us for years and as a result of that you've been trolling us for years but you haven't been commenting because you obviously did upset us at some stage where I've blocked you and you now perform your trolling or probably better word for it is cyber bullying um, on and hate yeah on this other website but what's happening is it's because of this little incident with Lee they've now jumped over on Lee's channel and have joined in with the hate which obviously a lot of Lee subscribers come from my channel so they're now infiltrating Lee's chat and he's not taking it down he's letting them do their stuff and bad mouth us and slag us off and as a result of that a lot of our subscribers are having to see all this crap which I can't control anymore so all I can say is, is that if you do see any negative comments on Lee's channel about us it is from the vile trolls that operate on one of these other websites out there and uh, they slagged me and Sharon off they've abused us they've taken the mickey out of our family and all I can say is, is that I've actually screenshotted every post by every person because cyber bullying is a thing and somewhere down the line there will be a way I don't know where if it might even be out there now I'm not sure where these people can be brought to justice and be responsible for their harass harass is it harassment and bullying? It's bullying. It's a hate, isn't it? Hate. Pure hate. Hate crimes basically, yeah. yeah. And discrediting you, calling your names, discrediting you on public, but they they were doing it on just that forum. But now they've infiltrated Lee's channel, or some of them have, and they're commenting amongst all of Lee's normal commenters, which are also our commenters. So I am dealing with this, 
but just to let you all know that of course it affects us we're normal people at the end of the day I'm 60 years old Sharon's on her way to 60 we've lived a life we've all gone through upsets in life and whatever we've got family who have been sick and ill and I just mentioned on one of my videos recently about that we're we took out our relative who's not been very well and uh, they've even accused us that that was false just to try and get views so it's absolute nonsense which they've put about us it's absolute nonsense what they've put about us but um, I try to protect my family from that and uh, they've all been dragged into it unfortunately so it but does thank God what outweighs it is you nice viewers yeah, that you, exactly. you know that are always yeah. nice and kind and when we meet you you're all lovely we've been called so thank you we've been them. called scroungers uh, we've been called a benefit cheats we've been called you wouldn't believe what we've been called and what, what how they've actually discredited us on on the uh, online and apparently it's not just us it's other youtubers, it's YouTubers isn't it? yeah and this all started because we visited our friends who are other youtubers who was on this website apparently and because we visited them we then got attacked as well so there you go I'm not gonna let that change anything but there are websites out there which are basically just pure vile hate no respect for anybody no respect for your privacy I know that we're in the public eye and all that we respect that but we're called low life beggars because Sharon we put a wish list on there now the wish list was put on there because we get people say to us you bring a lot of sunshine into our lives you or when I was doing my car repairs and all that You've, you've helped me out repair my car, not have to take it to a garage where I've paid five, six hundred pounds. I've fixed it myself because of your videos. Can I buy you a pint or can I get you something? So that was the reason for the wish list. And uh, no other reason. To that end, I've actually just taken it off. Sharon doesn't know that yet, but I've just taken the wish list off of our channel now because we're not beggars. No, we don't need the money. No, we don't need anything what people send to us. But this is our life, this is our work in life. Now I've worked for a few companies in the past and I've never been treated with the disrespect that I get off of YouTube. This is the downside to YouTubing. And the, har the harassment and vile comments which people are allowed because you say you're in the public eye. And this is what they do. So all I'm saying to you is yes, there has been a, an incident with Lee we no longer communicate with each other. He's choosing his direction. And good luck to you, Lee, if you're watching, by the way. I've got no, I don't know, no grudges. You're doing what you're doing for whatever reasons. It's entirely up to you. I've been there all the time for you. But uh, obviously you've chosen your pathway now. We had words. It's happened before. But it's always, we got over it, no problem. This time, something's changed. So I can't change that. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with our walk now, folks. But I had to get that out there. So, yeah, every page of that crap that's been put on about us, it's been captured on my computer with times and dates on and on the website, whatever it is. I know exactly what it all is about. Just waiting, doing my investigation on cyberbullying and hate crime. So, keep doing it if you want, folks. Because uh, your cards, hopefully, will be marked. And I will pursue it. Anyway. We're carrying on our walk because it's a lovely night. Yeah. See you in a minute, folks. Here we are, folks. We've made our way down to Jubilee Park with the open air swimming pool, and there's actually people in it. Wow, look at that. How lovely is that? And I think it's a heated pool, Sharon, isn't it? What a lovely environment this is. It's a lovely little park here. And this place, folks, you can actually camp here. There's um, two campsites just through here. One's on Jubilee Park. And the other one is, is it Petwood Shower on the other one? Yeah. yeah, we're just walking towards them now, folks. Last time we was here, none of these flowers was here. Look at this, people, look. Wow, remember we come here not so long back? And I said these probably are gonna get all planted up. Well, these obviously must have been there. How lovely is that? It's like a, it's like a little zen garden, Sharon, isn't it? That's what it is, a sensory yeah. garden. Sensory garden, there we go. Wow, look at this, people, look. And I said all these herbs here, remember? We looked here last time, and they all come through now. Look at this, look. 
Oh, that's um, sage. Oh, it's sage. Yes, yeah, it says it there. Look, it says sage. We've got some lovely rosemary here. The chives are coming up as well. Look at that. Look down there. Oh, that's beautiful. There's some parsley there. Thyme. Oh, thyme is a lovely herb. Look, that's full of vitamin C. That one, people. Look at that. Look. Wow, this has really come out. Just shows you. Now I used to grow all that stuff. Let's have a look at the water feature again. How lovely is that? Wow, look at these lovely tulips, look. What a lovely blossom. Isn't it lovely when they fill the air like that, look. And what a lovely little seating area this is now, like, if you want to come and sit here for a little picnic in the evening or something like that. Absolutely lovely. Let's uh, come out here and have a look along here. There's a big car park here, and also there's people camping over here now. There we go, just over here, people, you've got... Um, there's a car park and then you've got these two campsites here or well, camping areas rather the one behind I oh, said so how'd you get to that one shall yeah you've got a road down there folks just down there drive in front of that cricket clubhouse there and there's an entrance just where that car's coming out over there if you can see right through there look you see it coming out that's the one the pet would own and these ones here are the one that Jubilee Park owns well, you can just bring your car caravan or your motorhome, your caravan, your, your tent even. I'm sure, yeah, they do tents and all that as well, is yeah. And to book it, you can book it online, yeah. And the little hut for the uh, campsites is over here, just by the uh, playground entrance over here. Let's show you. There we go, the caravan site booking office over there, look. There you go, there's the opening times. The latest arrival time. Fridays and Saturdays are slightly different. There you go, and that's the Jubilee Park. That's the pool we were just looking at. You couldn't see it because it was behind a fence, but uh, looks very 1960s, doesn't it? There, yeah? with the colour schemes. Yeah, it's a lovely little area. Absolutely lovely little places. Nice and quiet. There's loads of other campsites around here. So if you do want to come camping or bring your motor home to Woodall Spa, do check out. Just type in Woodall Spa campsites. Yeah, a couple of tents over there now actually. But it's a lovely place. Especially in the summer and spring. This is this shows it in its best light to be honest with you. Yeah, Woodall Spa, eh? Lovely little village. We've been here 24 years now. We love it, don't we? We do. Right, we're just coming into a little pathway that leads down by the uh, side of the golf course, which is normally where we uh, walk with Dougal. And we're going to do that now. It's just getting a little bit dark now, Sharon. Yeah. Dougal's looking all right with his coat I'll like that. Yeah, so a lot of people in the comment section say, Oh, are you still going to do your cooking videos and stuff? Well, predominantly, we are a vlogging channel. I've got to date, I think it's about 614 videos on our channel, Butler's Empire, and over half of them. I think it's like 332 because I've got playlists, you see. Over half of them are vlogs, just our, what we get up to in our life. 108 of them are air fryer videos. So that took off when the, the lockdown happened. And uh, we just happened to put some air fryer videos on. And then that's when our channel took off. We're not actually chefs or cooks or whatever. But um, obviously we put some videos out there to try and help people out to use the air fryers. And... Um, then we got known as the air fryer people, but predominantly we are a vlogging channel and that's what we will continue to do. We vlog our day to day life and at the moment we've been putting out near enough a video a day for the last three months. And the idea behind that was obviously when I wasn't well in December and I had a, uh, an issue, I wanted to document for other people with a similar issue, health issue, so they could see the prognosis and how you go forward with that and what happens. So that's why I was doing the daily <laughs> vlog. What happened then is that um, we radically changed my diet and then I was going to sort of monitor that until I got a free monthly blood test to see if the changes or what effect the changes in diet was going to produce. I was unsure. I didn't know. I'd heard loads of people on the internet had done the same thing and they've also shared their results but you can never really say that until you actually see your, your own results. So that's when I started to do the daily vlogging and we were showing the food we were eating throughout the day. One of the hardest things to deal with is going out and 
eating at takeaways or places outside of where you're in control of the food and uh, so that was the sort of a journey as well a lot of people say well what do you eat when you're out so I hope you showed some of that in the daily videos when we was out on our journeys or whatever so yes we will be doing cooking videos and also I was asked to document the carnivore diet and I've had other people say oh we don't want to we're not interested in the carnivore diet and there's a hell of a lot more people who have said the carnivore diet has saved my life thank you very much we've been doing it since December like you we've had similar results and a lot of Americans who seem to be a lot more switched on with the carnivore because it's more familiar out there and uh, they've sort of jumped onto my video when I've done the carnivore blood test result one and giving their own experiences some have been doing it for 20 years some of them started in their 60s for example and they're in their 70s or 80s even and they're still doing it and they feel absolutely fantastic all the ailments they've had have gone so that to me oh it's a bird <laughs> oh is it that to me is very important because it goes against all what you're taught in the way of nutrition throughout your life and that you have to record that to share that with people if you're doing something and it seems to be working now I'm not saying it works for everybody because other people have got different conditions and may have different nutritional needs or whatever some people are allergic to gluten or or whatever and but don't just take my word for it but half of the reason why I do these videos is to help not to hinder literally to help others inquisitive like I was because it was my inquisitive nature that made me search YouTube to find like-minded people doing what I wanted to do or thought there must be another way because the general way of doing things doesn't seem to be working for everyone anyway so yes that's the reason why you'll see these little carnivore videos coming up they're only gonna be short ones but that's so that I can create a playlist of what I'm eating as a record for other people to look at as well so you may not want to see every sort of video we put out if you're there for just the air fry stuff yeah that's there there's a playlist of over 100 and how much what's here 108. 108 videos on air fryers then we've got slow cookers then we've got um, pressure cooker videos and uh, then we've got budget menus then we've got old school dinners menus and stuff like that so you can't keep coming up with the same thing over and over again so we have to move on and our life in our vlogs tends to move on places we go are different the things we do are different we move forward we don't try and stay static so uh, you know keep following us if you do if you don't then just watch the ones you want to watch anyway Dougal's having fun exploring that's the uh, Bracken golf course there that's hole number two there by the way I haven't played that for a few years come on Dougal come on Dougal come on look at him with his haircut look he looks lovely now come here come on yeah the lights just going down now folks I'll uh I'll finish this little segment here because I don't know how good the camera's looking I've actually ordered a new one now the DJI pocket free is it I think but I don't get that until a month and a half's time they've sold out they're very popular apparently what was the other one I bought the Insta 360 Ace Pro I've sold that I only used it a couple of times it's the one with the flip up screen on it it's just that every time I wanted to turn the camera around I had to quickly turn and pick the frame up uh, fl flick the screen up and it just became a bit of a nuisance it's a good idea but only if you're filming in one direction come on Google so I got rid of that one and what I'm using at the moment is my um, Samsung s23 ultra Google come on Google. oh he's in the day ain't in the dirty Google. water he's in, the, he's in the dirty water folks oh, look at there you go, Google. Come on, Google. Here, come here. Come here. Put him under the leash, yeah. Come on. Oh, look, he's filthy. He's got to go. I tell you what, shout. It's better now though with his hair cut, as opposed to him with long hair. Look at him. Look. Thanks, Google. If that was his long matty hair, that would have been terrible. Look, he's just been in that stagnant water over there, folks. Look. That's probably called him off, actually, shout. Look at it. Oh, it's, it is stagnant and all. Look at that. Look. He's gonna have to have a bath when he gets in. And look at this mud here. Look. Oh my dear. Through you go, Shell. It with your new trainers on. You've got your brand new trainers on as well, haven't you? Have they? Yeah, they've got the 
Off the hill. That's unusual for a Re Reebok Classic, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you imagine if he had his long hair show. Oh, that's terrible, folks. Yeah. Anyway, right, we'll leave it here for a minute, folks. We're going to get out of this quagmire and we'll come back to you in a minute. Well, this is another day, folks, and um, we're going to do a little bit of house maintenance today. We've got someone coming in to clean the patio for us. I'll just show you it first of all, just so you can see what it's all like. Now, as you can say, it has suffered over the last year or two where we've uh, not had it jack washed. But coming around here as well, the side of the house, it, it's gone sort of green and mossy, which is very, very slippery when it's wet. So we're just clearing this all off now around here. And uh, we're going to get all this done at the same time as well. All the way around here. I think I showed that in a previous video as well. So, uh, And also this wall, which... Again, we have done it before, but um, it's not been done for a good few years now, but we're going to get all that jet washed, and uh, hopefully it should look a whole lot better. It's just about getting everything out of the way. We need another skip here, actually, but they cost about nearly £300 now, so um, all this stuff will go in a skip here. We'll get that sorted out, and uh, we'll show you a little bit of the after. It's half past 8, 20 to 29 on the Saturday morning, and uh, yeah, we're out and about doing stuff. Apparently it's going to be about 20 degrees, um, possibly today. It's a little bit windy. Apparently the west coast of England's got the uh, remnants of a storm coming in. Uh, high winds and all that, but uh, we should be okay here on the east coast of England. So uh, we'll get this carried on and I'll show you afterwards what it possibly looks like. So we'll see you shortly. Well, it's late in the afternoon folks and uh, the jet washing's all been done. Absolutely beautiful now. He's done a lovely job there, coming around the side of the house to here. All down there, all the patios, it's still a little bit damp in places, so it might look a little bit patchy. But all the way around, it's been jet washed now. He done his best with the wall, with the equipment he had with him, but um, I'm going to go over and do that wall again, that's not a problem. Going to get rid of all these plant pots here, nothing's going back on these walls here. So yeah, well pleased with it, he's done a really nice job. And uh, well worth the money. Anyway, just wanted to tell you about this as well, folks. About I know I've been on about the... Um, the internet trolls in this video and it's probably put a bit of a down on it for you because normally we're all sort of upbeat and happy and all that but um, I'm very disappointed more so with uh, Lee Van Camp because he's allowed them to infiltrate his system and they've even put down the name of the website in his comments and uh, he's made a couple of statements in his community page saying don't attack Martin and this that and the other which is fair enough thank you very much for that but he then says that um, everyone's entitled to an opinion well I don't think everyone is entitled to opinion when it's hate and vile and bullying they're not entitled to an opinion at all and when they're personally attacking people and trying to make their life hell and they're trying to basically bring down our channel that's the score of it all because we had what you call a wish list where we allow people to buy us stuff if they wanted to they don't have to no one's forced to do that it's their own choice and I told you earlier on that the reason why people want to do that is to thank us for bringing uh, a bit of sunshine into their lives so these vile trolls are in his comment section and they've even put, as I said, the link to the website and they're saying exactly the same things as what they're saying on this vile website. And our, my subscribers, which are Lee's subscribers, are also seeing this sort of crap. But um, all I can do to you folks is that just don't read it, don't fall, don't fall for their crap because it's that one bad apple in a whole bunch and all that scenario. But as I said to you, they're causing hate They've even gone on and said in our latest video, where I've done my little carnival uh, video of the, the, the steak we had, uh, they're saying I can't cook because the steak was in with the, the lamb chops and oh we noticed our baby wasn't talking a lot now and I see he's not putting out as many videos and all that now and Eve is being quiet and they've even called me names like pervert and stuff like that for having the kids in my videos and also saying that perverts watch all these videos which is a load of rubbish there are loads of channels out there who put their kids in it's not a problem whatsoever you don't always look at the lowest common denominator I like to be on the bright side and look positively sort of thing we don't believe perverts watch our video apart from the perverts from and, and, and the scum who are putting hate out about us on, on our videos again I don't mean to bring this up again folks but Sharon's obviously very upset about it I've told my daughters to be aware of it and also my son on their channels because they are there and they're starting to direct hate towards them now calling them scroungers and uh, money grabbers and all that which is basically hurt us because all we do uh, is change uh, is trying to be the same as what we always are 
people come to us with offers of doing a review and stuff like that yeah well that's not a problem that's part of youtubing and there's even people who have said oh i didn't mind them when they was doing the air fryer videos but now they're doing bikes and stuff like that and it's all getting a bit much bit grabby money sort of thing no it's not it's part of our job as i keep saying youtube is our job at the end of the day and we don't deserve to be attacked for doing our job i've taken the wish list down that's not to please the trolls that's just to show people that we don't need the money at the end of the day i left the po box up there because obviously companies send the stuff as well and i don't really want to give our address out although people have already found it people have even gone to the extent this is how far they go of of going to see how much i paid for my house when we bought it and that was 24 years ago they've even searched the internet to find out how much i paid for my house this house here 24 years ago this is how devious and dirty they are and all they do once they watch my videos which they've been doing for years and years by the way they then go onto this other website and then tattle about it. They prattle on about what they what they think's going on, which is totally, totally wrong whatsoever. Absolutely wrong. They don't just tr prattle on about what they think has gone on in the video or what I'm showing and what my ulterior motives are. They physically abuse you as well. They physically abuse me. They physically abuse Sharon. They physically abuse the, my other children, which is hate, basically. As I said to you, I've caught every, every comment by every people on Lee's chat and also that website's chat I've recorded everything and once I know what to do with that to take it further I will and they will be a penance to pay at the moment the machinery might not be there but I've got the evidence there and it's once it's up there unless they take the website down which they, they don't I don't think they will do but that's something to do with the individuals who scour that website but at the end of the day they're hurting us that, that's got to be accountable for these foolish people who have also got families and can you imagine what it would be like if I attack them I haven't attacked them at all they're just giving their warped opinion of what's going on and it is very warped as well anyway that's really enough of that now I hope Lee does watch this because at the end of the day he's fueling it and he's also fueled it by the trolls attacked him in a comment and then he come out and put some spill about I'm fed up with this, people asking me this, I might stop putting my videos on YouTube. And then the trolls played to him and he then come out and basically agreed with the trolls that a wish list is no more than, he said, I think it's begging. This is what Lee said on the, on the trolls. With that, the trolls then called him, sir, work that one out. So now he's played straight into their hands and he's now a good bloke in their eyes, which makes him no better than the trolls. By, and also saying it in his community page that everyone's entitled to their opinion that's why I've not deleted anything but he's not looked at the bigger picture where they're coming from a separate website onto YouTube and trolling and the, their ulterior, their whole motive is destruction but we're not going to let that happen folks we're not going to let you suffer as well I've had to mention this and get it out there because it has affected us and obviously we're on a bit of a downer as well we've just come back off our holiday after vlogging our private holiday for people and uh, you thoroughly enjoyed it a lot of people can't get out and about at the end of the day we enjoy vlogging as well there's many many more people than us online who vlog who earn a hell of a lot more money than us we just tick over at the end of the day but there are people earning millions of pounds but uh, we <laughs> believe me we're nowhere near that we're, we're well well down the pecking order but the trouble is is that this website that they go on they want to keep you down they don't like the way you're climbing the ladder they don't think it's work we put hours into this with our youtube channel and we have done for years and we're also doing it for prosperity so that our grandchildren can see who their parents were and unfortunately we have to make these sort of videos and let them know what's going on because if we just blase blink our eyes and whatever and let this crap out there there comes a time when you've got to stand up and you've got to do something about it. And as I said, I spent hours recording all the information and I've got it logged now on my computer until the time comes when I can act on it. And that's what's going to be hopefully coming. And I will act on it and all. Anyway, folks, that's enough of that now. We're going to try and get back to our happy self again. We have been kicked in the teeth, so to speak, again by these filthy trolls. That's all they are. They're filthy individuals, vile, disgusting people only content in bringing people down and abusing them and i can't react to them because that would make me a bad person as well so i'm not going to do that i've just got to log it and then when the machinery is there to deal with it i will deal with it 
anyway let's try and lighten it up a bit now we get back to uh, what we were doing earlier on when we, when we was cutting Dougal's hair let's find a winner for that Altenic P30 uh, pet grooming kit thanks very much people right okay here's the number coming up folks this is what you've been waiting for the number we're going to choose is number go on you choose it 79 number 79 Right, now you're going to have to give us a bit of time, folks, obviously, because we're going to try and find number 79 in the chat. The first one who says number 79. And when we found it, we'll pin it to the top of the uh, comment section there. And we'll also put it underneath the video in the top of the comment section there. And if you're the first one we find, that's where you'll find your number. And contact us on this email address here. And email us your address. And obviously... Everyone who's playing this game obviously needs to be subscribed as well. All these dogs be going, no, don't win it, Mum, don't win it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the P30 combo, Altenic there. Go into that winner at the top of the pinned com comment section and also at the top of the comment section below there. So well done, you. Just give us an email on that email address and we'll get that shipped off to you ASAP. So that's it, people. We're doing a little bit of work around the house as well. Sharon's had the ladders out, as you can see. Evie's over there helping. You've been getting all the curtains down around there. Sharon's ordering some blinds for that, haven't you, baby? Yeah, I'm going to paint the um, window sills. One's been done. It's gone white instead of the dark brown now. Yeah, so you're changing the colour scheme in yeah. here. Grey, would you believe? The table's going to be sanded back, and that's going to be done as well. Yeah, so all this is going to change. Fed up with it. Yeah, well, it's been there for a long time, Sharon. Yeah, but now we've got a bit yes. of time on our hands because yeah. uh, things have changed a little bit. The patio looks good out there now, people. As you can see, the garden's going to start to come on. We've got some work over there to do. It's all it's all in the pipeline. Curtains are on the line, blowing, ready to go to the charity shop. Oh, right, yeah. They're there's nothing, nothing wrong with them. No. Anyway, so there you go, folks. We're moving on, moving up. We're taking you with us, and we're so glad we've got some fantastic loyal supporters there with us. We're not going to let that small element do anything, but we have to be aware of it, as I said to you, and we're going to try and move forward now. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye, bye for now.